Hi everyone. Today is Wednesday, March 21st, 2018. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service. And we've got a very warm and wet weather system heading our way. So if you've seen this before, this is a rendition of the winds about 20,000 feet. And this is the forecast for tomorrow. What we see here is a high pressure that rotates clockwise down by Mexico. What we see here low pressure out by BC, northern BC in the Yukon on the coast and in between is an atmospheric river and it's coming towards that yellow dot and south of there for all of Utah but for our purposes what we're talking about are the mountains of northern Utah including the Uintas and the Wasatch and when we talk about atmospheric rivers this is what we're talking about they're approximately 300 miles wide and when you think of a global scale, it's a very narrow band of moisture that originates out by Hawaii. And when you think of California's water supply, they get multiple amounts of these. Last year, we had 41 atmospheric rivers, which changed around drought conditions to flood control in two months' time. When you think of all of the atmospheric river events we had last year, this year is the first one for for our area, for Utah. They've had a few others north on the coast. Uh, but overall, this is a very warm system. It's incredibly wet, and it's moving our way and should be here tomorrow afternoon. So when you look at the Wasatch and Uintah Mountains, what I've done is, is combined all of the areas that we typically do this into one briefing. As it's a big synoptic storm, it's moving in. But it's important to know we're only going to get about 6 to 12 inches of snow. That's because the snow line is at 9,000 feet when this starts, maybe even 9,500 feet. It's going to rain below that, and it's going to affect the snowpack that's already on there. I talked to Drew Hardesty this morning from the Utah Avalanche Center. He works in the same office as I do. He was here making the forecast, and we were discussing how this is going to affect the avalanche conditions, and he indicated that this uh, is going to put some weight on the snowpack, and it's going to change things. We've got about an inch and a half to two inches of water. It's going to start Thursday afternoon. It's going to end Friday evening. We're going to have the greatest snow intensity on Thursday night at about two inches per hour. It's going to start at 9,000 feet, and then it's going to just drop down to 7,000 feet, so roughly the base area. So above that, the, this snow density is roughly going to be about 13 to 17 percent, maybe even greater at that 7,000 foot level. And the snow density trends are going to decrease, but not very much, because this is going to be a very dense snow. So when you think of how this is coming in, what it looks like, we're going to have 70 mile an hour winds roughly across the Wasatch and across the Uintas at about 70 miles an hour, gusting out of the southwest by about Thursday at 6 p.m. So above 9,000 feet, that's going to be heavy, wet, dense snow below that we're going to have rain and there's other hydrologic issues but for our purposes this is what we're seeing so southwest until roughly about Friday morning then it's going to veer south southwest to Friday out to the west and then Friday night out of the northwest but by that time it's all going to be moved on so there you have it this is kind of a, a quick one but we could do it all at once um, if you look want to see us on Facebook or Twitter you can always get a hold of me, but I highly advise you to take a look at the Utah Avalanche Center's website. This is a uh, kind of a big event, and it's going to change the avalanche conditions drastically. Take a look at that, if you would, please, and stay safe out there. This is Brian McInerney. Thanks for taking the time. We'll see you again.